Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, the things that are going on right now on a daily basis, now forget about that, on a secondly basis, it is off the charts. I mean, all these news stories that I'm reading through, which I don't have to, time to go through them all, I mean, everything I'm reading through, it's almost like I'm reading right out of the Bible. We are living in the last days. Folks, what I want to share with you today, this is wild. This is insane. This is right out of the Bible. Have you guys noticed what's going on right now? This huge push by globalists, world leaders, and the elite to replace meat with synthetic proteins? Even go as far as saying if, that, if we stop eating meat, it's going to save the climate? I mean, here's an article I just came across recently from The Guardian. If we want to save the planet... The future of food is insects. Yeah, forget about meat. We're going to turn to insects. It is insane. All the stories that are coming about, talking about all of the meat, meat replacement stuff that's coming. I even recently heard of a beetle burger that has come out. You heard that correct, folks. A beetle burger, not a cheeseburger or a hamburger, but a beetle burger that is actually uh, people are eating in certain parts of the world and they're trying to make this happen all over the world. Here's a recent one right out of Study Finds. Beetle burgers could soon reach mass production, helping to feed the world. And another one recently in, this article is titled, The World Economic Forum Strives to Shove Beetle Burgers Down America's Throat. I mean, if you would have told me all of this meat replacement stuff was coming when I was a kid, I would have laughed at you and said, no way. But did you know that what we are seeing right now with them trying to get people to stop eating meat because it will save the climate, that this is actually a last day's prophecy? What are you talking about, Chad? Well, when you go to the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, listen to this. 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 4, the apostle Paul says the following. Know that the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Listen to this next part very carefully. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. Let me say that again. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. I mean, folks, there you have it right there in verse 3. Commanding to abstain from meats? What do you think is happening right now? It's only a matter of time before they're going to be pushing this all over the world. Moving away from meat and going toward beetle burgers. And think about all the other insects making these... Uh... <laughs> this is crazy, folks. Uh, don't think it can't happen because it's already happening in certain parts of the world. And this is what they're pushing for. And that brings me to what I want to share with you. I just came across this uh, on Fox News. Check this out. Davos speaker calls for 1 billion people. You heard that correct. 1 billion people to stop eating meat for innovation and the environment. And then I was just sent this from Breitbart. Great Reset. Siemens chief calls for billion people to stop eating meat. Let me read some of this one to you folks. One billion people should stop eating meat in order to save the climate. The chairman of the largest industrial manufacturing company in Europe told a panel at the World Economic Forum. Danish businessman and chairman of the German manufacturing giant Siemens, Jim Hagman Snabe, pushed the Great Reset agenda of replacing meat with synthetic proteins at a Mobilizing for Climate panel at the annual Globalist meeting in Davos, Switzerland last Wednesday, last week. 
Listen to what he said. If a billion people stop eating meat, I tell you, it has a big impact. Not only does it have a big impact on the current food system, but it will also inspire innovation of food systems, Snape said, adding, I predict we will have proteins not coming from meat in the future. Um, I, this is, I predict we will have proteins not coming from meat in the future. They will probably taste even better. They will be zero carbon and much healthier than the kind of food we eat today. That is the mission we need to get on. The Siemens boss continued. I mean, folks, you can't make this stuff up. Literally, a last day's prophecy in first, the book of 1 Timothy chapter 4, when you go down to verse 3 again, it says, Forbidding to marry and commanding them to abstain from meats which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Look at what they're doing, folks, and look at what this guy just said. That we should have a billion people stop eating meat. And we're seeing them come out with all this meat replacement stuff. I mean, this is off the charts. It's only a matter of time, but not only before it's Beetle Burgers, but they're going to be pushing all this other, other stuff, replacing meats and trying to get people again to stop eating meat. We're told this would happen in the last days and it's happening, folks. And all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what the Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us, and he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.